Manipur is one of the last frontier places, um, the northeast. It's so exciting. You know, it is part of India, but it's a very different part of India, and that makes it very, very exciting. <laughs> It has Lotak Lake is one of the biggest freshwater lakes, well in India, but also in that part of the world, and it is extraordinary. You can go on the boat, you can see people living on the islands. Manipur also has great hills. It has great potential for trekking. There's even a market in Imphal which is only run by women. It's known as the women's market. You have a rich culture which goes back a long way. The mighty civilizations of Manipur are extraordinary and very distinctive because the Laiharaba, which is the annual festival of creation, um, actually is a performative tradition where the world and humanity and society and people and its legends are danced into existence. And in this, the pony plays an extremely important role. They're held sacred. They're not made to do menial work. Manipuris do not, I repeat, do not use the ponies as pack animal, nor do they use it for farming. It's purely for polo or for wa. We find the geoarchaeological remains of the pony's teeth. That is a second molar and the third molar from Kangla. It's about some 23,000 years from now. Of late, what we see is a number of ponies using in Manipur uh, seems to be declining. Whatever little we have, we need a proper attention on these uh, aspects. Sometimes we come across so many ponies uh, roaming here and there in the highways and the roads, etc. But there has been an encouraging initiative taken up by the local organizations and even by the state government to nurturing pony and horses. Earlier, the pony was not much concern to the people of Manipur and today this pony is a topic in the, in the Manipur assembly. Manipur में तो हर event में सब supporter है और football में भी ज़्यादा है ये एक बार मतलब जो भी यहाँ friendly match या कुछ भी game होता है तो हमारा stadium इतना full होता है तो football में भी ज़्यादा support है पर हर हर event में भी बहुत achieve करता है। It is now the the incubator of sporting talent. And the reason for its special achievements, I think it's that it's, it has a martial tradition. And because of this, it has a very performative culture. In the war time, 
the people of Manipur formed the cavalry unit for warfare. But in peacetime, what they will do? They have to make some pleasure activities along with the horses. And in that way, the game polo, which is known as Sagol Kangje in Manipur, has been evolved. When this group of horses, young people, they were uh, playing uh, the Kong Kangje, that means the uh, hockey that is uh, played on the foot. And uh, when the king wants to address something to, the, uh, to the, his uh, horse, uh, youth, they, they were not listening, they were absorbing their games. Then the Kangba has to pick up the, uh, the ball that they, they are playing, and, uh, and he used to mount his horse and went away, and they start chasing the king Kangba uh, on the horseback with the, uh, with the ball in the hand. From that, it started the game of Sagol Kangjai. It means from the uh, foot of Kong Kangjai, it became polo, or the hockey on the horseback. In the 19th century, the colonial encounter with the polo sport begins over here. One of the army general, Joseph Sherrard, he, along with his army men and the others, learned this particular sport and uh, they played the first polo game in 1853 and then they start, even established the polo club. And British began to play this particular sport and then it was introduced into England. Uh, I think so India should feel proud that it was a sport, unlike the modern sports which were introduced by the British, this was a sport where the British took from here and they took it to England and then it spread to the other parts of the world. In the post-colonial setup, when the purpose of the pony as an instrument of war, as an instrument of sports, was lost, suddenly, you see, polo declined. By the 1970s, you see, polo had died as an organized state game. Now is becoming very, very popular among the 72 polo playing country in the world. What had been lost in the shuffle over the last few decades was the fact that uh, the sacredness, the importance, the degree of the importance of the Manipuri pony seemed to have been lost. It is just the passion and the love for the ponies, even for the poor people, that this creature has survived. If we have to save ponies, we have to save this lane. And of course, as I always say, my father would say, our younger generation will never forgive us. Because if we do not save this land, if we do not protect this land as a natural grazing field for the ponies, our children, our grandchildren will see pony on our walls as simple pictures. Polo grounds in Manipur have, you know, almost vanishing from the valley parts of Manipur, and there is no question of uh, being uh, polo being played on the hills. So we are very concerned about this. We are worried and very much concerned about this because uh, without polo grounds, we can't think of the polo game. And when polo grounds are, uh, you know, missing from Manipur, you know, ponies are also, you know, vanishing from the state. One of the pertinent questions that we often hear is, what are the reasons for the dwindling number of ponies in Manipur? And we have identified two reasons, as we know, that once the ponies are chased out from their natural habitat, they will be coming on the streets. They will survive on the garbage, on the litters on the roadside. And of course, road accidents. We civilized people are blaming 
that the animals are on the road and they should be banned from being on the road. We do not realize we have driven them away from their natural habitat. The little green land, in fact, it is one of the beautiful wetlands of our state, the Lumfeld part, which we believe since time immemorial, this is the natural habitat of the original polo pony. In this, you know, state government also has to earmark a particular places in not only in one area, in almost in all the areas, so that you know uh, the ponies graze and survive. The government of Manipur, I think, they are contemplating on natural grazing grounds in four major districts that is Imphal East and West and Thawal and Vishnupur of course now in Kakching. If they have at least some grazing natural grounds during the monsoon, we look forward that at least they will not be on the streets. The government of Manipur has taken off projects to develop the pony sanctuary at Hainang as well as at Lamphel Pot. The government felt the need to develop habitat center of pony, whereas the natural wetland and the grass need to be developed. Further, the state government has already uh, allotted a land measuring about an area of 25 acres at Lamphel Pot, where grazing facility is there, and uh, more grazing grounds is going to be developed. This is the pony breeding farm. This piece of the land is taken as a lease from the government of Manipur. And the number when we start, it was only 44 num in number of the, the Manipuri ponies. And now it has already increased more than 226. And we are also giving ponies to the neighboring states as well as to the neighboring country, Myanmar. This is a, um, a ground which our, you know, forerunners of the association, our elders, kept it, preserved it. Now I tell you very frankly that government is trying to evict this place also in the name of the expansion of the Jew, which is our neighbor. And uh, we are now protesting that that should not happen. <laughs> When you have an animal, it is for passion. When you breed cattle, you have the milk coming out, you have the meat. For horses, it does not yield anything. By just rearing these things, they can just be linked with their uh, economic activities, the livelihood of the people. What we are thinking is, the government has uh, organized uh, like international polo tournament, a women's polo tournament, even even uh, like from Kenya, Australia, USA, and Britain has already participated. We got invited as an England ladies team to go out um, and play polo in Manipur. We were there to help promote women's polo um, and the Manipuri pony to get people aware of what's going on there, of a breed that's um, endangered. But it was great fun, we got to experience the Manipuri pony, so they're very different to my horses here. These are about 15.3 um, thoroughbreds off the racetrack, uh, whereas the Manipuri pony is obviously the native pony um, and they're only 13 hands so um, it was really good because you could be uh, really close to the ball and it was really handy to play 
um, polo on the horses and very different. Um, and it was a great experience uh, to go to India and play where polo originated. Uh, and the government is now planning to have a larger platform so that the, uh, internationally we can attract to shop the ponies in Manipur. And uh, apart from playing polo, we are uh, going to provide opportunity to involve in the various uh, activities so that they can earn and that they can sustain uh, keeping the uh, pony. That is where the issue of uh, uh, how to use polo and pony as instruments of uh, encouraging tourism. People of Manipur is very, very, what to say, ready to support tourism in Manipur. You know, they are very welcoming uh, attitude. <laughs> you see the scenic beauty of the Manipur. You visit Loktak, you visit Shiroi Lili. You see the original polo games. So we, the department, we are trying to brand the polo and the pony of Manipur about the, uh, for tourism department so that the rest of the world can know it. When we started in 2012, the polo, the cost of the Manipuri ponies market price was about 20,000 rupees. But now, because of the popularity of the game, the price has gone up to uh, about almost 2 lakh rupees per ponies, you know. So in a way, we are saying that our game has helped in preserving this uh, Manipuri ponies. Hopefully, I think we are trying our best to increase the number of ponies also at the same time to preserve this uh, cultural heritage of Manipur. No pony, no polo. No polo, no pony. So now we have this symbiotic thing with one hand washing the other, the cause of the pony and the cause of promoting and developing uh, polo in Manipur go hand in hand. So polo can only um, help create a sense of self-esteem, pride, not empty self-esteem, not empty pride, but informed pride and informed self-esteem so that you know who you are or we know who we are as Manipuris. <laughs>